Hi guys, so in March there is a hashtag pit mad coming for you. If you haven't participated in um, any pitch contests on Twitter, this video is going to be helpful for you. And hi, <laughs> my name is Katie, welcome back to my channel. So I had done this video in the past but it was under my other name so I'm going to redo it for you guys. Um, and I also have a blog post about this that I'll link down below but basically pitched contests on Twitter are really great for trying to find agents who you might not otherwise have thought about cold querying or uh, maybe you did think about them but this is going to put them uh it's going to put you higher on their list to get to typically supposedly if you get a like for a pitch contest you're supposedly at the top of the pile however pitch contests have gotten crazy big and there's like thousands of pitches now and hardly anyone like always gets seen so um, there's Pit Mad, DV Pit, SFF Pit, Pit Dark, and a ton of other ones depending on your genre and your ages. If you do the mentor programs for like Pitch Wars, there is like a forum where you can have like boards for pitches, query, synopsis, and first pages. I also think Ride On Con has that as well. So it's great for like feedback and there's plenty of people on Twitter and Instagram who also do free first page critiques, query critiques, um, synopsis critiques and things like that that'll help you as well and there's also a practice pitch now so you can practice your pitches get critiques on them and then be ready for the next day for pit mad so a pitch formula that i got from my good friend kat bakewell who's on instagram and has a website fabulous website um she says pitch formula main character wants goal because motivation but conflict and this happens slash might result. So you want to introduce your character, the goal, the motivation, conflict, the stakes basically, and end kind of on a punchy cliffhanger um, that's gonna like set up why the agent should care what they're looking for in your book, okay? Another way to phrase this is age plus character plus setup, but when inciting incident, they'll have to uh, choose between this or else this will happen, which is your stakes. So that's another good setup. Again, these are laid out on the blog if you want to look at it in like a uh, text format. And comp titles really stand out too if you have great ones and you can put them like blank meets blank or blank X blank. That way you can save some space to your, your Twitter characters. Basically in your pitch, you're gonna to want to use vivid detailed imagery, don't be vague and clear high stakes with clear action and a hook. Do you get me? Clear, clear, clear. Um, don't be vague, be very specific so that it hooks and it's not just like, oh, the world is doomed, please read my book. Like, why is it doomed? What's happening? Why does it matter to your main character? Like, all that jazz. And then you're going to want to add your hashtags at the end. So like, hashtag YA for young adult, hashtag con for contemporary different pitches have different connotations so like maybe it's just hashtag c for contemporary so that's something you want to check on and then of course whatever pitch event you're doing and um, i got cat's permission to use this um, example on twitter that got 115 likes holy cow so it's howl's moving castle meets the paper magician clara's magic shatters glass causes storms and grows azaleas in her dad's lungs her childhood sweetheart offers to teach her how to save her dad, but only if she is willing to give him her powers in return. So that sets up her, her problem, um, the stakes. Another way she wrote that was Howl's Moving Castle meets Uprooted meets Paper Magician. When one touch from 18-year-old Clara plants poisonous blooms in her father's lungs, she finds help in a dark bargain with her childhood BFF. For his help, she must give him her wild magic. So that one did really well too. She's represented at New Leaf and doing swell. <laughs> you get to pitch throughout the day, so how those two were just tweaked just enough to give you a varied um, read is what you can do with your own pitches. You also want a really good group to retweet you because that's what's gonna put your pitch towards the top for agents to see. Yes, they are gonna search by hashtag, but retweets really help boost you up. So post on Twitter, post on Instagram, let people know that you'd appreciate their help. Um, a lot of people are going to be rolling the tags on the day of anyways and are like, hey, drop your pitch down below and I'll retweet it. And that's a really great way. And if you're totally new to pitch contests, do not like anybody's pitch. 
just retweet or comment. The likes are just for agents. A lot of people like to post early in the morning around lunchtime and then like what was commute time, but like LOL COVID. Um, and so you kind of stagger your posts and usually the first one is the one that's going to be the hard hitting. It's the one that's going to be lasting most of the day and getting more retweets. So you're going to want that one to be your best one. You can schedule these tweets via TweetDeck, Hootsuite, or um, whatever other platform so you're not like scrambling to remember and posting at weird times throughout the day. And if you do get likes, please research your agents because some of them aren't great and some of them are fake. It just you don't have to give it to everyone who asks for it, okay? Like even if they're a decent agent but like you don't think they're for you, don't send it to them. It's okay. When you do send them, usually they'll want you to put Pitmat at the top um, of the email or in the drop down or something in the form on query tracker and then um, you'll put, include your pitch in the top of your query letter being like hey this is what you liked and um, you can even include the link but sometimes people don't click that just in case um, so you can also just copy paste your pitch in there oh yeah and I know some people now have started doing in their pitches where they do emojis um, and, or like a checklist of sorts and so that's really fun to mix it up too um, do not do aesthetics I think that's frowned upon but um, I think mixing it up and making it fun within the pitch itself is a good idea to grab attention so um, I think those are all my tips let me know if y'all have any below or if you have any questions and good luck with any pitch context that you enter. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!